Hey you guys, welcome back. I want to thank all seven of y'all <laughs> that watched my video yesterday. Um, I'm just grateful for anybody that's willing to sit here and listen to me. Usually I start off with some music, you know, get me hyped a little bit, get me pumped. But, you know, yesterday my video got flagged, so I guess we just leave the music out for now. Until I can get somebody that that's okay with me using their music in the beginning. It'll come, it'll come. I love music, y'all. I listen to it for everything. Go to sleep, take a shower, read, study. I just, it just helps me focus. Love all type of music. One day I will have a record label, but that's another note. So we're gonna start off today with a Bible verse. Um, the verse for today is keep yourself in love of God. Jude 1 21. And that is going to be our topic for today. Um relationship love um also today i started my fast today so i'm gonna refrain from eating meat trying to only eat fruit and vegetables um this is going to be hard i feel like i'm gonna be really hungry but hopefully it'll open my mind to what it is that I need to be done. Also, I got this book today. Devon Franklin. Uh, the, the Success Commandments. So I'm going to be reading this book. And I'll let y'all know how it go when I'm finished with it. But relationships. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is a topic right there. It's very difficult nowadays to build a relationship with someone. Um, right now, I'm at the point where I'm just building my relationship with God because it just seems like the people that I've tried to build relationships with, um, it just failed. And... I was starting to think that something was wrong with me. I'm like, I see this person getting married, this person getting married. I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Why don't nobody want to love me? Why don't nobody want to fight for me? Like, what is it about me that don't nobody want to... just fight for me fight for the relationship it's like i'm always in relationships where i feel like i'm the only one fighting for the relationship i'm the only one trying to make it work and maybe i just got a habit of dating selfish dudes and, and now it just got me to a point where I just don't want to be in a relationship no more. I used to want to be married so bad, but after seeing relationships where people marry for like 20 years and 19 of them, the husband was cheating or like a woman just settled to marry a man just to say she married and now she not happy out there you know it settled in that it wasn't love it was just like um just you just want somebody to be around you and now they're 
discouraging other people from love because they chose they didn't choose to marry for love they just chose to marry just to have somebody around and being around people like that has really made me want to take a step back and be like ooh, okay maybe I shouldn't just be wanting to rush into this marriage thing I really need to take this serious because I'm the type of person that when I get married I just want to be married one time like I don't want to do no divorce uh, I don't want to have to get remarried so I might as well take the time now and make sure whoever it is before I say I do because that's it after that the only way I would leave is if they a cheater or or if they try to hurt me like in some physical way like I'll leave cause ain't nobody about to put their hands on me and I don't do cheating that is like my number one pet peeve cheating in line because if I can refrain from cheating and I'm, I know I'm not the prettiest woman in the world but I'm not the ugliest either and so if I can control myself I feel like my man should be able to control himself also and that's what I'm just waiting for to find a discipline, a disciplined man. Um, one that can control himself, that knows what he wants. Like, I want her, and it don't matter who come around. It could be Rihanna, Beyonce, I don't know, who every other dudes think is the baddest. Um, it don't matter. Because he know he wants me and only me and nobody could jeopardize uh, our love. So, you know, to me, I feel like that's worth waiting for. And if I got to wait a couple of years, so be it. It's been, it's almost like a year since my last relationship. Like, November well, I think actually, yeah, actually it probably already been a year. I think we was broken up already, but we was kind of still living together, but we was already broken up. But <laughs> it's been a year since my last relationship. That went by super quick. Um, I don't know. I want to love again and find somebody that I can trust but I really thought that he was the one um I don't know like I was like he's about to be my last he's gonna be my husband Ooh, I didn't think I was gonna get a little teary eyed try to hold it back but yeah I thought he was going to be the last. It was like, I've known him for like 20 years. First saw him in elementary school. Um, we actually never talked. Known him, we went elementary school through high school. Never talked. And then last year, I just happened to somehow get back into my old Facebook account I had got like locked out and I seen a message from him from like 2012 so that was like 2012 2018 what's that five years no six years my bad y'all I'm tired I've been up since like five something I always wake up early. I don't know why. I just wake up and can't go back to sleep. But 
I woke up around five, so I'm a little tired. So six years. He he had sent me that t that message six years earlier, and I didn't see it till 2018. Hit him up. We talked on the computer, and it was like instant, like. You know, when people be like, love at first sight, oh my gosh. It was like, I wasn't seeing him because I was in Chicago. He was somewhere else. But it was like, love at first messages. <laughs> um, he seemed so perfect for me because nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. But he seemed perfect for me. And I was like, we have slight problems. It wasn't even like nothing major. It was like slight stuff. I think really what it was is he had been hurt before. And previously uh, relationships. And so... You know, when you don't heal before you get into another relationship, it kind of just mess it up. We both wasn't healed from our past relationships. And so I think that's where we went wrong. Because if it wasn't for that, I think we still would be together. Um, yeah. I really loved him. I still love him. I'm not even gonna lie. I still love him. That's probably why I haven't dated anyone yet because I just can't get over him for some reason. It's just, it's weird because I've never been like this towards anybody that I've dated. It's kind of like... They don't want to be there. I'm not going to force you. I ain't going to force nobody to love me. Like, either you going to be here or you not. But I'm not going to force you. Because at the end of the day, when you force somebody to love you, it just feels fake. And I, I don't want no fake love. I want the real deal. I want romance. I want some flowers. I want to go on a date. I want to feel pretty. You know, I want to feel special. Like, I'm the only thing that matters to him in this world. Like, I don't know. That's just what I want to feel. And if I don't feel that, I don't want it. So, I don't know. Dudes try to talk to me now, and it's just like, it doesn't feel genuine. It's like, they just look at my face and just feel like they like me. And it's like, you don't even know me to know that you like me. And I just, I just feel like, they just after one thing it's not all of them i know it's not but majority of them just feel like you know they just after one thing they just want to hit it and then you know quit it keep it moving just to say they hit it but you know i don't want to i just don't want to go through all of that i don't want to i don't feel like loving right now it's sad right how love can make you feel like you're on top of the world or or you don't even want it at all. <laughs> it's crazy. Somebody go get mad after watching this video because they got mad the other day. But that's why I tell people I don't want no relationships because I know in my heart that I'm not, I'm still in love with my ex, and I don't want to hurt nobody. Like, I was hurt. I'm trying to refrain from, you know, anybody getting hurt, but somehow people's feelings are still getting hurt. 
But, you know, I don't know what to do or say. Because it's like, I think people, they hear what they want to hear. And I've been, I've been those type that hear what I want to hear just because I like the person, even though I seen red flags, I knew better, but I looked at their potential instead of who they was, and I am so over looking at potential. It's like... Potential will get you messed up. Like, oh, you got such a potential to be such a great dude, but then you end up homeless or something behind that potential. Like, nah. I can't deal with that no more. I just, I'm tired of being in one-sided relationships where I'm giving my all and my mate don't even want to do the bare minimum and then treat me like I'm just asking for too much which I don't ask for anything for real like I go out and make my own money like anything I want I pretty much buy it myself I'm not a real needy person financially <laughs> but I am emotionally needy I think I'm gonna say that yeah I am I I crave attention only from my spouse and I just I just be wanting it but I always run into these selfish dudes that is extremely friendly when it comes to the opposite sex. And then if I was friendly like that, they would have a fit. Like, who the dude you talking to? Uh, control. I date controlling, selfish men. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Maybe I seek discipline in some way, but I seek it in the wrong way. I feel like I need more discipline as far as my mind, um, staying focused on the things I want and say I'm going to do. Like these videos. Um really trying to stay focused and disciplined and make sure that I do these videos every day. But, you know, um, things are starting to turn around for me and my little family. God has done some good things for us in the past couple of days. Um, I got some job potentials. So... I'm trying to figure out which one would be best for our family. Um, still trying to work on this transportation thing. I might have something coming around, but we'll see next week. Um, but I, it get lonely. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be out here like. Man, I just want a dude, like, for real. I just want somebody to cuddle with sometimes, you know. Make me feel pretty. Want to show me off to people. I don't know. But then, I'd be like, I just don't want anybody. And with having a daughter, I just don't believe in bringing anybody around her. Because anybody hurt my child game on I'm just saying you want to play that game <laughs> I always win I'm just saying that 
having my daughter I really don't date like that like I think since I've had her I've been in three relationships she's five mm -hmm. I've only been in three yeah that's crazy right some people be like <laughs> have three relationships within a month or something. I've only had three in the five years of her life. <laughs> but when I was a kid, woo, whoa. I used to, I think I was like a habitual dater. Like, I used to just date folks and then when I got tired of them, I just dismissed them. I did a lot of good dudes like that. And I just want to apologize now because I know how that feels. So I apologize if we ever talked in like middle school through high school and I just dumped you for no reason. My bad. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I know how I feel. It don't feel good. Yeah. So, my cousin, she used to pick on me and said I changed dudes. Like, I changed draws. And I did. I used to just switch them up. Oh, you was too clingy. Oh, you was too sensitive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, I was just like, I wish I could get a clingy dude. Like... At least I know where he at, you know, and I ain't got to worry about him being in some other chick faith, but it's an extent to that. He, I don't mind him being clingy, but if he like controlling and clingy, I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know about <laughs> that. might be a little too much, but like, I don't mind a little clinginess, you know, want to be up under me. Like, sure, let's cuddle. Let's watch this movie together. Let's go play some video games. Yes, I love video games. I love karate movies. I love racing go-karts. I love muscle cars. I'm, I grew up a tomboy, so I'm not your average chick. And maybe that's another reason why I run into issues when it comes to dating and relationships is because I'm kind of a tomboy. Like, I don't mind getting my hand dirty. And maybe guys just want a girl that's just going to sit somewhere and look pretty. And that's just not me. I'm a hustler. I've been hustling since I was six, actually before 16, because before I could work, I used to, you know, braid people hair for some money, you know, and then when I got old enough to work, I worked at McDonald's, so I was like 18, and then just never stopped working. It feels weird now to not be working, because I'm just used to going to work every day but I'm trying to learn how to transition and from the mindset of of a worker to a business owner because I can work all day for somebody else but then when it comes to myself I'm just so I'm kind of lazy when it comes to myself. I don't know why I'm like that. I've always been like that. I think it comes from when I was younger. My mom, when my mom got sick, I was always taking care of her. And my sister had a baby, like, straight out of high school. So I was taking care of my mom and taking care of my niece. Because my sister was always gone working and stuff. So I was this kid in elementary school with had to grow up so 
My relationships have been me always taking care of somebody and I haven't really taken care of myself. I feel like this is the first time in my life that I have started working towards taking care of myself. It took me 29 years, but finally doing it. It feels good. I got like one more year in school. I have my business degree. Um, it just feels good to build something for myself and to finally complete something. Just complete something. Because I'm like a jack of all trades. I'm good at everything, but never great at one thing. Yeah, that's me. I want to be great at fashion and since building my relationship with God I have been working more towards that he put me in positions to basically learn this field I've worked for like big companies that is successful I work for little small companies that end up going under so I understand it helped me understand what to do and what not to do once my business get to that level and then I've also worked for seamstress that was self-taught and it showed me that with my self-taught skills I can get far but eventually I'm going to need to go to school for it to get to the position I really want to be at which is number one right now Chanel hold that spot and I'm going to work to get to that part. It's going to be hard. I already know it. Because she been holding that spot for a minute. But I can get there if I just keep my mind focused and really dig in deep into this fashion thing. Um, so, I'm... Um, really trying hard to make sure I keep this relationship with y'all guys like I said I got offered a job driving school buses I don't mind it but the schedule it's gonna be a little crazy um, like I said I'm in school right now my daughter is homeschooled so Depending on if I get the car or not, I don't know if I'm going to have to get her into school or if she can continue being homeschooled and I can get her to a daycare and work that way. I don't know. We'll see come next week. But things is getting... Got to learn balance. Um, try to still make time for you guys because without you, I am nothing. I can design stuff all day, but if you don't believe in me, then I'm just wasting time, I guess. So, I want to build this relationship with you guys. I want to continue um, working on my relationship with God. And hopefully, somewhere along these videos down the line, maybe it'll help you want to build a relationship with God and work on your journey. Building, building a relationship with God is not easy. 
not easy at all. Um, and I see why a lot of people just try to take the easy way out. But it is worth it. I can say that when you get to the position you want to be at, your foundation will be so solid that nobody it be like the pyramids. I'm trying to have that pyramid foundation that lasts um, years and have that longevity. I'm looking for the longevity. And I know if I continue to build my other relationship with God, I have longevity with everything. My business, whatever spouse he sends me, that's all I want. I want love. I want the real deal thing. And I'm going to continue to be single until I have that, that compliments my swag. You feel me? Because I'm trying to I'm trying to get an empire and I can't just have anybody on my side. I want that Michelle and Barack Obama. <laughs> the way he look at her. I'm trying to tell you, I want a man like that that look at me that same way. That encourage my hustle and my dreams, not try to hold me back. So y'all, y'all need to be patient with this love thing. I know it's hard. I know you feel lonely, but be patient with it because it's always best to, you know, wait. I'm, I'm learning that for real. It'll save you a lot of pain. <sighs> a lot of your time, you tell me you feel it's getting wasted just just chill out and be single. God told me to be single till I found somebody that compliments me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be single till I find that person that's going to encourage my dreams. And that that's not going to slow me down or pull me back when I start taking off because of jealousy or whatever control or whatever it might be. So... That is the end of my time. I thank y'all for coming in, listening to me talk about relationships. I hope it uh, open your mind to, if you're in a relationship, to see if that's really working for you and pushing you in the right direction. Um, you build your relationship with God, he'll let you know the relationship you in is the one you need to be in. Um, and when he tell you, you, you need to accept it. Don't say you want something better and then when he try to show you something better, you run from it or you deny it. Because then he going to say, oh, well then you didn't want nothing better. You like being cheated on. You like being beaten. You like being lied to. You like being mistreated or whatever it is. So, whatever you pray for, prepare yourself for. You want to be a wife, start acting like a wife. You want to be a great fashion designer, you got to start acting like it. You got to put your mind into it so that way when you get there, you prepare. You don't feel like you're not ready. And that's what it is. A lot of people don't prepare themselves so they're not ready when God bless them and they mess it up. I'm not trying to mess nothing up. I'm preparing my mind. But I love y'all. I thank y'all for coming in, listening to me. Leave some comments. Uh, like it. Uh, subscribe. Share it. I don't know. But we'll come back tomorrow and we'll talk again about our next topic. Thank you for coming and listening to Nikki Young, 30 and 30. It's about to get serious out here. See y'all. Peace.